यूज केस नंबर सिक्सटीन हाई एवरी वन दिस इज हिमांशु एंड वी आर कंटिन्यूंग आर जर्नी ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग एपिक्स मास्टर क्लास दिस इज यूज केस सिक्सटीन एंड फॉर दोज ऑफ यू हू आर फॉलोइंग अलॉन्ग लेट्स कंटिन्यू विद आर यूज केस पॉज द वीडियो हियर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू ट्राई दिस यूज केस ऑन योर साइड एंड लेट मी नो हाउ इट गोज फॉर दोज ऑफ यू हू वॉन्ट टू सी द सोल्यूशन एंड वॉन्ट टू वर्क विथ मी ट्राई राइटिंग द कोड ऑन योर स्क्रीन एज द वे आई राइट इट ऑन माई स्क्रीन ओके डोंट जस्ट वॉच द वीडियो लेट्स ट्राई टू write the write the code on both screens one on my screen that i am writing and you on your screen that you are writing okay and i hope you have visual studio code set up in your uh, uh, machine because that will be very helpful to write better code because it gives you a lot of features like auto complete and it keeps a neatness to it because developer console might be slow sometimes vs code is pretty much made for coding for developers so please use that Let's look at the use case. Use case sixteen. Write a method that returns the sum of all numbers until a specific number. Very similar on very similar lines like the Fibonacci series, but this is a bit more straightforward because there we had to do a calculation based on the previous two numbers, the m and n, right? The last two numbers, the sum of the last two numbers. Here we just need to sum up all the numbers that are in a sequence. Okay. Let's go to VS Code, and I am going to create. my 16th apex use case class i'll just go ahead and say apex use case 16 right and i'll just go ahead and create a new method here and i'll call it public static what should it return let's take a look at the use case what should it return it should return the sum so meaning a number so i'll just go ahead and say integer sum of all all right i'll just rectify my typo sum of all what is it going to take it's going to take a number until which we want to sum up okay i'll just call it the final number right so i'll have an integer i'll call it total sum this will be initialized to 0 and this is what i am wanting to return the template is ready that's how you should start writing your code keep the template ready and then if it's a complicated template write things in english write it in english or any language that you understand hindi telugu tamil right bengali anything any language that you understand and then once it is written in english you can very well convert it into salesforce language right that's something that i tell everyone all right so what do i need to do i need to basically iterate over all numbers starting from 1 till the final number right and i want to store the sum of each addition or oh, i mean i want to store the sum of each number that comes into the iteration iteration meaning the loop okay how do i achieve that i'll simply say for integer i equals 1 why am i not starting with 0 because if you add 0 to anything is there any change no right so i'll start with 1 i'll say i less than equal to the final number i'll say i plus plus and all i'll do is i'll say total sum equal to total sum plus i and that's it all right what did i do if i were to run this down of how this code would run basically final number let's say is 10 okay total sum is initialized as 0 so it will start from the i integer variable 1 so it will come here i equal to 1 right and it will be total sum is equal to total sum plus i what is total sum right now it is 0 so it will be 0 plus i make sense so it will be 1 and then it will go in here it will increment the loop to 2 so now i is 2 what will happen total sum is currently 1 so total sum plus i 1 plus 2 will become 3 and then 3 plus 2 will become 5 and so on make sense right so this is why i have done total sum will be equal to whatever it currently contains plus the i variable that's how you'll find the sum okay if you are able to figure it out let me know amazing right and there's a short code of writing this so if you see that total sum is equal to total sum plus i right the same variable has been used on the left hand operate operand as the left hand operand and then you are adding something to it so i can use something similar like this right i can simply say total sum plus equal to i this is completely same as total sum plus i these both are same things this is just the short code okay this is just the short code 
of this so salesforce and actually the salesforce compiler understands that when you write this particular line meaning plus equal to it means that you need to add the total sum to i and return it to the total sum variable okay awesome that was our use case let's go ahead and say deploy let's give it a check and this is apex use case 16 and I'll go ahead and say execute apex use case 16 and I'll say sum of all and I want to take a look at sum of the first 10 numbers so I'll just say 10 okay let's go ahead and say execute executes fine and let's take a look at the debug log and the result is 55 all right so that was our use case 16 pretty simple pretty straightforward i hope you are able to understand this plus equal to sign and you are able to understand how this iteration works and how should we normal appro normally approach any kind of use cases all right i'll see you in the next one bye